Welcome to this Unreal Engine 5 tutorial about animation motion warping. Let's jump right into it. So here we are inside of Unreal Engine 5, Early Access. To start off, we need to go to Edit. We need to go to Plugins. We need to find something called Motion Warping. Now, there are, if you type in Warping, you'll see there are two plugins for this and motion warping is the one that we need and after you have chosen this one it will ask you to restart. Uh, to keep in mind this that this is experimental this might be dropped later on or possibly be changed plenty but for now this is how it works. Now with that said what we have here is a content pack. We have the pack of uh, Paragon Aurora which we have imported into this third-person template. And that is uh, almost the only thing that I've done over here. The other thing is I have put this little cube which is supposed to represent an enemy or something like that. And then I have created a blueprint which I called BP test, which is a completely empty blueprint. It doesn't have anything in it at all. Nothing in the construction script, nothing in the event script, nothing. It is basically only a placeholder location in the world. Now, there are a few things that we need to do. First of all, we want to have uh, an animation that we want to play. And this is the one that I'm going to be choosing today. And the thing that you need to do with this is you need to enable root motion for it and then save it. Uh, and then we need to right click and create a anim montage for it. Now, the point of animation warping is the ability to use animations and somehow transform them, uh, like in the tech demo where we saw that the character could vault over different sized uh, chunks of uh, debris and then the animation would uh, adjust to it. So that is sort of what we will be doing today, although slightly different. We will be taking this uh, animation montage here now and we'll just go to the Notifies track and we'll right click and go to Add Notify State and add, add Motion Warping. Now this will give you a, a little um, uh, section of uh, time that you can use to have the motion warping happen. Now if we were, for example, this animation looks sort of like it's something that she's charging into an opponent, right? And then she's uh, recovering from it. So we can find a place where she looks like she is actually moving, like so. We'll take that as our start location. And then we'll find a position in this animation where it looks like she has ended the animation. So maybe there or something like that. So we'll just drag this out and have it cover the area where we want to uh, manipulate the character's root motion. Now on this motion warp on the right hand side here you'll have uh, root motion modifier config and here you want to check uh, adjustment blend warp. The documentation says simple warp but I could not get that to actually uh, confer the translation of the character it would only use uh, the other attributes and those attributes are as following. If you see here we have uh, a sync point name. Now this is something we can change. We can call it like charge destination. Make sure to copy that name because it will be reappearing later on. Uh, warp translation is supposed to be how your character, if you want your character to be uh, changing its position. So that's what this checkbox does. Uh, ignoring X axis means that it will only follow the, the level of the ground. So ignoring this will ignore height. And warp rotation will be taking the rotation of the item that you place in the world if you have it on rotation type default. Or you can choose it to facing, which means that it will go from the position where you are and face that direction uh, in the end. Now you can 
mix these up and have them like in separate separate motion warps to do different things. Uh, this will not look super great because we're we're rotating and we're charging at the same time. You'll see once we get a little bit further in. Uh, but maybe you want to have like rotation happening earlier and faster and then the charging part in a different one and stuff like that but with these checkboxes you're allowed to do those changes this is uh, what we need for now so save and we'll go back to our actual blueprint for the character so i've added the aurora character into the level itself and i will be adding or editing her blueprint for this to demonstrate and i have added a simple key press for r as our triggering event for this so our character needs a component it's a component called motion warping which we have available when we add the add the plugin and by dragging out the motion warping here we have the ability to uh, edit the the data of the things that we changed before so if we type in add sync so this will be the sync point which is the name that we copied earlier so we'll put that in here which means that we can change that position where it's supposed to be translating from and the sync point here is the one that keeps the data so if we split this you can see it has a location and a rotation if we I made the blueprint earlier where I have this BP test which is just an empty blueprint this will serve as our location to where to charge to and the height doesn't matter since we ignored Z so it's just gonna be this place so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna be getting an actor by class and we're gonna type in the BP test just so we get that and the reason for this is again so we have a reference to the point where we want to charge you can have this this location uh, calculated in some other means to throw in here but this is what we use this just to demonstrate so we get the location of this actor we pop it into our sync location and that's the first part done now the second part is that we need to play our animation montage so to do this you need to get the mesh and play uh, montage and like so and then we add the montage that we created before which was the for me the ability Q montage here and that's all that needs to be done here now I have uh, in our character let's see over there that's the wrong one Aurora and then we go to the mesh and we go to our skeleton we can go to our skeleton this is the roundabout way for me to get to our animation blueprint basically uh, so here's our animation blueprint event graph or uh, anim graph i mean uh, anyway uh, to be able to play a montage you need a slot so what you do here is between the component local this part doesn't exist properly when you import it so if you just type in slot and then you'll get a montage slot here and you get the default slot and drag that in here make sure it's connected and this is because your ability over here this one needs to play in the default slot as it says over here um, to to know where it's supposed to slot in the animation in the animation blueprint uh, so if you're having trouble this probably needs to be done before you make the animation blueprint in case it doesn't automatically adjust to to the default one here uh, but you should be able to do it uh, in in uh, retrospect as well by just choosing uh, default groups default slot down here as well anyway very roundabout let's get back to the actual fun stuff so uh, now we have the character and it's theoretically going to be playing this montage and before it does that it's going to be updating its sync point of the charge destination and it's going to get the location to charge to from this actor class let's see if this actually works <coughs> so we run around somewhere and then we press r and it turns around and it uh, charges so like you see it doesn't look great uh, and the reason for that is it's uh, doing a linear interpolation for the rotation 
and a linear interpolation for uh, the charge as well. But this is stuff that you can always just like tweak around and, and change uh, according to your needs, of course. Uh, but that's basically how it works. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you might have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.